My name is Reginald and welcome to another edition of Microsoft Office Access 2007 tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to create a cross tab query. This will be accomplished by meeting the following objectives. Use the Microsoft Northwind Traders Database, also known as Northwind2007.accdb. Use the Cross Tab Query Wizard. Use the Employee HR Classes Table. Preview the Employee HR Classes Table. List the Employee ID in the first column. List the total number of credits in the second column. And list the HR class name in the remaining columns. And name the query employee HR classes underscore cross tab. And finally view and verify the results. Well let's get started. Let's open up Microsoft Office Access 2007 and the Northwind Traders database. Well, here we are, the Northwind Traders database. Let's scroll up to the top of the screen till we reach the All Access Objects tab, which is right here. And let's come below and let's click on Tables. And let's scroll down until we locate our Employee HR Classes table, which is right here. And let's double click on it and open it up. And let's familiarize ourselves with some of the data in this table. We have employee ID, HR class, credits, exam score, and we also have single entries for each employee ID. Okay, now that we've taken a brief moment to familiarize ourselves with this table, let's come up to the tab right here and let's close it. And now let's go back to our navigation pane and let's come back to our employee HR classes table and this time let's select it but not open it. And now let's scroll up to the top and let's scroll to the right until we locate the create tab which is right here and let's click on it. And now let's scroll down and continue to the right until we come to the other tab which is right here and let's go up above and let's click on query wizard and from the drop down box let's click on cross tab query wizard and let's come down below and click OK and here it asks it says which table or query contains the fields you want for the cross tab query results well, we would like our results to come from the Employee HR Classes table, which is right here. So let's select it and let's come down below and let's click on Next. And now it asks, which field values do you want as row headings? Well, we want the Employee ID as row headings, so let's leave that selected as is. And let's come to the right arrow and click it and now let's come down and click on next and now it asks which field values do you want as column headings well we want the HR class name as column headings so let's leave this selected as it is and let's come down and click on next and now it asks what number do you want calculated for each column and row intersections well that's going to be credits and we're also interested in the sum or the total number of credits so let's come down and locate sum which is right here and let's select it and now let's come down below and let's click on next and now it asks what do you want to name your query well we were asked to name our query employee HR classes underscore cross tab so let's leave this just as it is and let's leave the view to query selected and let's come down and click on finish and here is our new query right here see we have employee ID total of credits and the name of each HR class listed above 
We also have the total number of credits here and the individual credits for each class. Well, our cross-tab query looks fantastic. Praise the Lord. This has been another Microsoft Office Access 2007 tutorial with Reginald. Thank you.